find out a super easy way how to create this beautiful light string design. Hello my friends, my name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and if you like my videos maybe subscribe to my channel, if not that's okay too. So hello my friends and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to start with a beautiful colorful picture like this for example and I want to go right ahead and right click on the layer, duplicate it so I have something to go back to and then go up here to filters, select noise and Perlin noise. There we go. And you want to set the blend mode to vivid light because we need all these black spots here in the picture but still have the color in the picture. You can play around with the settings right now. I'm just hitting apply. There we go. And again we go up to filters, select blur and zoom blur. You can set it to maximum. You can see already we have a ton of nice strings. So hit apply again. And this is our base layer. Throughout the video I'm going to show you other tricks how to make this look even better but before that we need to bend our string. So right click duplicate that layer and now we're going up here in the corner to the liquify persona to twist our picture. So let's go in here. You want to set the divisions to a low setting. I have it on the lowest setting right now. You want to select on the left side the liquify twirl tool. There we go. Set it to a big size. So it's bigger than the original picture and you can play around with hardness, opacity and speed and you want to click in the middle of the picture to have this as the center of your rotation. So click and hold and you will see it will start to rotate. So rotate it maybe like this is good but you can go creative and wild as you want to really be experimental with it. I'm going to click apply and now we have these bendy lines and I'm setting my blend mode to lighten. You can again play around with the different blend modes. You can see you get a lot of crazy results. Soft light is also pretty nice. So we will try to do different things throughout the video. For now I'm going to set it to lighten. I'm going back to the original layer which is this one and make another duplicate. There we go. I'm dragging it to the top and going into the liquify persona again, select my twirl tool again and down here you have a different tricks how to use the tool. So you can see here if you hold the alt key it is rotating in the other direction. This is what we are going to do right now. So big size for your brush, hold the alt key, click in the middle of your picture and wait for it to rotate a little bit. There we go, wait a little bit longer. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we have these two. Again, I'm going to my blend mode down here, setting it to light and you can see we have all these crazy lines going on. Sometimes they connect on the outside based on how much you rotated it. So let's create a third one with a little bit less rotation in it. There we go. Duplicate from our base layer here, put it up to the top. The blend mode is still normal so you can see just this layer in your liquify persona and this time I'm going to have my uh, size of the brush a little bit smaller. Again the twirl tool, smaller size so I'm just rotating the middle. There we go. Let's rotate this a little bit, a um, little more maybe, a little more. Okay that looks good enough. There we go. Let's apply this. Okay and now come the cool tricks how to make this look even more awesome. I will set it to lighten right now but we are going to change that in a second. The first thing I want to do select any of these layers as you want and down here in adjustment you can use and I found these are most useful. You can either use levels, you can use color balance and you can use split toning to give you some interesting other results. And by the way I found that split toning also works when you put it over all of these layers. So split toning works in a way where you change the color based on the saturation. So uh, uh, sorry not on the saturation based on how light or dark the areas are in your picture. So with the highlight selected I can have more saturation and change the color and you can see it actually does nothing. Why doesn't it do anything? Let's put it up here. 
yeah, now it changes the colors. You can see in the lighter parts the colors are changing and the picture is looking more interesting in these parts. Of course, we can do the same thing uh, for our darker parts in the picture. And again, like I said, you can drag this on different layers to have different effects on different layers. So you can see when you have this little triangle here now, this effect is just applied to the one layer. And I am going to use a levels effect also on this layer. You can see here we have the different brightnesses spread out throughout the picture and I will move this in so to make the lighter parts even lighter and you can move it from the other side to make the darker parts darker and this has a big influence on the look of the picture. You can see here it looks very different as before. Uh, so let's go down here to another layer. This time we are going to use color balance on that and you can play around with that and uh, try to get to a result that looks interesting to you. Find something uh, that you really like. You can see we get some really crazy results uh, from moving around these sliders and changing the colors. And like I said, I'm just doing it for one of the layers, not for all of the layers, because this will um, give me different colors, different bases for how the individual layers look and how they blend with each other. Okay, let's change the blend mode from the, the most, the layer on the top basically, uh, from light and to, for example, soft light. And you can see this makes, gives me, instead of light and which is a more pastel and softer colors, with soft light, I get stronger colors and more contrast on that. So this can also look very interesting. And also it makes the individual lines stand out a little bit more. And again, we can play around with the colors. Let's go back maybe to split toning in this case. Pull it onto the layer. There we go. And whoops, I closed my adjustment window. There we go. We have it back. Let's try out with the different settings. Okay, these changes are very subtle, can hardly see them. You can see it in the darker area, you can see that the blue is getting more extreme. This is pretty nice. The highlights doesn't work too much with this blend mode, but that's okay. Yeah, it works a little bit, but not too much. But you can see these are really interesting, crazy results. You can play around with this you can see that every result is different. So this is the picture that I started with. This is the picture I have right now. They look very different. By the way, another thing that I want to show to you is, of course, what you can do is rotate and flip these results. So for example, with the upper layer here, I will go to arrange and I will flip it vertically so it's upside down. And then this means that we have the colors that we had before down here, these orange colors now are up here. We can also go arrange and flip horizontally. So the colors are switching over here. And you can see every time the results are getting more interesting, more strange, you can get really interesting results with that and have some very nice light patterns. So that's the episode for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like my videos, maybe like and subscribe the video, hit the little bell button. If you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you can get my original files with all the layers. You can feedback on your creations. And of course, you can ask me questions about problems you're having with the software. So thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Bye.